if anything you're going to take from this video take this from it and practice this especially when you feel like you're getting anxious you're getting overwhelmed you're getting stressed with life you're feeling a little bit worried about things that you're recognizing about yourself because kundalini is going to bring up a lot for you so definitely practice this if you're ever feeling that overwhelmed that kind of heightened energy that anxious feeling in your stomach you're recognizing that your mind's going a bit 100 miles an hour taking a moment to breathe taking a moment to let that breath go place your hand on your heart so you're connecting with your body hello my loves and welcome back to yet another kundalini episode today we're going to be talking about practices that i leaned on during my kundalini awakening these were really supportive for me these really helped me out through those really intense moments the moments of anxiety despair stress because you do feel that you do get that when you go through that dark night of the soul man that hits you but just in general this is going to support you through your kundalini awakening these are the practices that were like my go-to and they also might not be what you would necessarily expect like most people would say to practice when you've just had a kundalini awakening these can really support you at the very beginning but this can definitely support you throughout if you are interested in anything related to kundalini awakening you're going through a kundalini awakening you're just wanting more information you're wondering whether you actually have had a kundalini awakening whenever you watch this video there is a whole playlist on my channel all to do with kundalini i'll leave the link down in the description box below but just before we get started don't forget to subscribe if you vibe hit the bell button down below to get notified of every time i upload i upload every single week so stay tuned for that and i've also noticed that a lot of people that watch my videos 84 percent, i think it is aren't actually subscribers and only 15 percent of my subscribers actually do watch my videos so if you are interested in this kind of content do subscribe because i am still creating quite a lot of kundalini content but i do also do like lifestyle content as well and talk about different spiritual subjects that I have leaned on and I have learned over the years of my full awakening because I've been on the spiritual journey for about 10 years now but since this kundalini awakening a lot of things feel like they're slightly changing I have touched on this before about like questioning spiritual beliefs as well but that's a whole nother subject that's in other videos so just go to the playlist have a little look if anything is resonate with you give those videos a watch and they should support you throughout your journey practices that I leaned on the first practice that I I leaned on the most was coming back to presence. I almost found that because the Kundalini awakening, it's just a big orgasmic explosion that comes all the way through your body, out of your crown chakra. Your mind can get reasonably busy at times because you're having lots of realizations about yourself about your life your brain is just processing a lot because obviously you know you've just had this really crazy wild beautiful and kind of scary experience at times so coming back to presence has always been so supportive for me and this will follow into the next point as well but when you are thinking a lot you're very much in the upper realm so you're in your upper chakras it's like you're up there in the universe you're up there in the sky you're up there with the stars and you're just kind of more out of your body you're not very grounded into this reality grounded into this earth and then your mind can run away with you so coming back to presence is always and has been the most supportive thing for me i almost find that sometimes just putting my hand on my heart and then taking a few deep breaths in and out both focusing on my breath so that I can you know breathe and just come back down into my body and back down into the present moment because almost when you're focusing on your breath you are coming out of the mind it's a really supportive way to get you through you know the first initial stages so coming back to your heart coming back to your breath when you place your hands on your heart and you shut down your eyes and you just be with yourself for that moment and then you take a deep breath in you can feel your chest expand and then you can feel it deflate again or you could put your hand on your belly and on your heart and you can feel the breath going in and out really <sighs> focusing on that and taking breaths anyway is going to support you calming down your nervous system and calming down the mind chatter and calming down the energy coming back to your presence coming back to your breath coming back to your heart space is so supportive and it's so simple and actually this is a point that i didn't say but every practice that i'm about to mention here as well you can literally do at any point they're all free <laughs> like pretty much all free and i almost find that a lot of the time the hardest thing about practices is remembering them in the moment because sometimes when you're just in the moment and you're feeling all this stuff it's quite hard to remember to come back to the breath sometimes it's just quite hard to remember to remind yourself like it's like reminding yourself come back to the breath because sometimes we're just like oh mine's up here whatever but it's like come back to the breath come back to your heart close down your eyes be with yourself for a moment just be present with yourself focus on the present i also learned a practice that i found through a lady online on youtube called maddie shika i think her name is and she talks a lot about kundalini she's amazing i'll link her down below this practice really really supported me and it's basically like coming back to presence but she does it slightly differently where she suggests that you put your hand on your heart and you imagine that 
that your soul is in your hands and she says to drop down into your heart space and then into your soul and this vessel that we've been given imagine your vessel your body is surrendering to the soul that is within you because your soul is always going to be a place of guidance and trust so coming back to your heart space dropping into that space imagining your soul in your hands and then telling your soul I trust you to guide me I trust you I surrender to you I trust that you'll guide me forward because we place a lot of trust outside of ourselves. if you believe in God if you believe in spirit if you believe in your ancestors angels if you believe in like the galactic beings whoever it is that you pray to and you usually share your trust with I trust in you to help guide me we forget ourselves we forget to trust ourselves so having that moment to just drop in to your heart space allow the soul to drop into your hands and imagine that you're bowing to your soul I bow to you I trust you I surrender to you and it just feels so sacred when you do that and it literally drops you out of your mind and then into your body again so it's like you're coming back down into this reality coming back down into this body you're grounding yourself back down again that really helped me at the beginning I was so grateful that I came across her channel and practiced that because it was so easy it was like anytime I felt like I was getting a little bit anxious or feeling a certain way I would just practice that and I was just feeling so much better so definitely give that one a go leading on from that grounding grounding has been a really important practice for me during my kundalini awakening and I know for a fact that anybody that's going through a kundalini awakening grounding is going to be another one for you presence and grounding two major things that we really 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 need so i realized when i had my awakening that i was so up in the clouds like i mentioned at the start of this video i was so in the upper rounds of my chakras i was not grounded into this body doing a lot of healing as well like thinking about my inner child and going back into the past and thinking a lot about my future and then trying to manifest for my future so like i just wasn't in the present moment and I almost felt really really ungrounded in that space and then obviously when you have a kundalini awakening the amount of energy that like powers through your whole body just explodes out of you is so powerful it's so much light that's literally flooding into your body floods in and then comes back out again it's a lot of intense energy so you have to kind of draw yourself back down into this body draw yourself back down into this earth I found that the more I ground myself into my body on this earth recognizing that I am a human as well as a spirit and I am a human that's been born on this planet on this earth therefore I need to be grounded into this planet I need to be connected to this earth this earth is holding me it's holding us so allowing yourself to <laughs> I realized I was getting so intense then realizing just like I need to touch the earth I need to be grounded I need to feel her I need to feel my body I need to be in my body rather than up there and thinking this and thinking that or trying to heal this trying to heal that just be here now be grounded like I understand what grounding means now like from all of this because it's like yeah grounded is just being present in your body grounded in your body grounded on this earth and I almost find that like these two practices go hand in hand because when you practice presence you practice practice grounding when you practice grounding you're practicing presence it's just literally like they are like twins they they go alongside each other so if anything you're going to take from this video take this from it and practice this because it is so supportive especially when you feel like you're getting anxious you're getting overwhelmed you're getting stressed with life you're feeling a little bit worried about things that you're recognizing about yourself because kundalini is going to bring up a lot for you it's going to bring up a lot so definitely practice this if you're ever feeling that overwhelmed that kind of heightened energy that anxious feeling in your stomach you're recognizing that your mind's going a bit 100 miles an hour taking a moment to breathe taking a moment to let that breath go place your hand on your heart so you're connecting with your body sometimes I also find that to help me ground myself I imagine there's like a funnel on the top of my head and all of the energy that I've been pouring out I imagine me drawing that back into my body drawing it back down into my funnel and then straight down into my body it, it helps fill me back up I imagine it's like water it's like filling me back up because I'm emptying myself when I'm thinking all of these things or I'm going into those places so just bringing it back down into me just helps fill me back up again the next one is getting outside okay this is pretty simple as you all know if you love nature and I'm pretty sure you do there's not much I can say about this just get outside and touch the earth just go and touch the earth go and hug a tree it's genuinely such a nice thing to do go for a nice walk 
put your feet on the earth, let your feet touch the grass, let your feet touch the sand, just let your feet touch the sea, wherever it is in the world that you are, touch the earth, go outside, breathe in the fresh air, just spend some time in nature. I always find that nature grounds me. And again, it's just each of these things that I'm saying are just holding each other's hand because you get grounding from going outside, you know? And then again, it's like implementing the grounding and the presence whilst going outside, you go out in nature. If you're in the forest, I love just listening to the wind blowing through the trees, hearing the birds, you know, just hearing the sounds of the forest. It's such a calming thing for me. So like, instead of putting my headphones in and listening to a podcast and making my mind think, grounding into nature and being present in nature and letting myself breathe in the fresh air and taking that beautiful oxygen that we get from the trees and just being, not thinking I need to get back to this person, I need to get back to that person, just thinking, no, whilst I'm here on this walk, I'm just gonna listen to nature. And if you are like in a busy city and stuff, then obviously fair enough. I understand it's harder to do that, but you know, just finding time and if you live in a city you could even go for a walk in the city and listen to nature sounds whilst you're going for a walk in the city instead of listening to like a podcast or whatever just to kind of feel a bit more connected to the earth but that's just another little side tip that you could do but getting outside please get outside touch the earth touch nature touch her mother earth is here for us nature time is super super helpful i always feel so much more revived when i've been for a walk and i come home and i'm like ah <sighs> just feels so much nicer, you know? (laughs) This next point is gonna go hand in hand with going out in nature, finding time for stillness. Finding time for stillness for me has been so important, so supportive, just having time without a to-do list, you know? (laughs) Having time without thinking about the next thing, just finding time for just stillness, like just being and just being quiet, not feeling like you have to talk and not feeling like you have to fulfill this need. Finding time to just be, to just be present, to ground, to go out in nature, like going out in nature can fulfill all of this. You're finding time for stillness, right? You could go out in nature, you could go for a walk and then you can sit. You could just sit somewhere and you can just be. You could sit by a lake and you could just observe the water, see the ducks floating by, watch the clouds pass by without putting a podcast in or listening to music. You're just being still. You're allowing your mind a break because, you know, again, a Kundalini awakening is very, very powerful on the old mind of ours. And I've talked about all signs and symptoms of a Kundalini awakening in a video that is also within the playlist. I highly recommend watching that to just get an idea of what I'm talking about. You know, when your mind is quite busy and stuff, like you have so many deep realizations when it first happens. It's also you're trying to process what's happened and you're thinking about how you think about life differently now. There's just so much to think about. Amongst all of that, you do get presence and bliss states. So when you do get that, rather than getting anxious, anxious about the fact that your mind is completely still and quiet because that does happen at the beginning because I got anxious when I had moments like that it's actually just like appreciating the stillness and enjoying it so yeah I really recommend just finding time to just be still you don't even have to go outside to be still you can literally just be in your home you can find a moment to sit and meditate for 10 minutes it doesn't need to be this whole big an hour a day you it could literally just be five minutes of meditation a day 10 minutes of meditation a day is all it needs to be if that's your stillness then that can be your stillness if your stillness is waking up in the morning, getting yourself a warm drink, sitting and just enjoying that drink without doing anything but just being present with yourself and enjoying that drink. That is allowing yourself time for stillness. It can be so simple. You can implement this into your routine immediately, you know, based on what you do. Your stillness could be you go for a workout and then after your workout, you sit and you meditate for 10 minutes. You know, it could be that you go to work and you don't really have much time in the day. So when you go to work on your lunch break and there's not really much to do, you could sit in your car and you could just be with yourself in the car without having to do anything else you could just be that is finding time for stillness i believe it supports your nervous system it helps regulate your nervous system back down to calm when you have a kundalini awakening it's, it's so intense man it's so intense so like just finding those moments of stillness it just really really helps support you the next point is allowing your inner child to play is something that i've continuously been doing your inner child can play in any way i will give you an example i'm currently learning how to roller skate i used to roller skate when i was a kid and i used to love it me and my sister used to go out all the time had these white barbie roller skates they were white boots with like pink wheels and a barbie print on the side and i just loved it so now i'm practicing how to roller skate again so i bought myself a pair of roller skates and every now and then i'll go out on the skates me and my partner just went out literally the weekend it was the first time we'd gone out together as well and done skating together because he also skates he's really good actually and it was just something for us to do for ourselves you know and it just really felt like we were just so present if we had the phones out it was just to record but we were so present with each other we were so present with what we were doing we were learning something new getting back in touch with my inner child by doing that it could be anything like painting it could be you know anything musical related anything that you used to do as a kid that you enjoyed doing try it again it just allows 
you to just be present again it's coming back to the presence these are all practices that i've found have been really supportive to bring me back into my body to bring me back to my breath to bring me back to presence not get too wondery with my mind because of all of this stuff that's happening and all of this stuff i'm realizing and all of this stuff i'm seeing these are supporting you and this is what i mean like a lot of people talk about practices after the kundalini awakening and they're telling you to do your pranayama which is your breath work they're telling you to do yoga every day implement this into your life to help move the kundalini energy through you i haven't really been doing any of that i've just been doing these practices and these have been super supportive for me so that's why i wanted to share them because i thought it's something different and maybe maybe something that you might not expect but it's something you can try easily and trying to implement new habits like meditation and yoga is obviously very very supportive i'm not saying to not do that obviously do that if you feel like called to it's good because you're being really mindful you really like drawing do some more drawing if you really like painting do some more painting if you want to go back out on your bike and just go for bike rides every now and then you could do that you know it could it is so simple i just think back to what you like to do as a child or if there was something that you wanted to try out as a child it doesn't have to be extensive but like you're just letting your inner child play a little bit you're just you're treating your inner child you know so i find that to be really really supportive the last point that i wanted to mention today is allowing yourself space and time to integrate your awakening and this is a very important practice to do after you've had a kundalini awakening because when we experience realizations about ourselves when we experience awakenings when we experience plant medicine you know when we've gone through a really really deep healing if we go to get a healing session from someone it's so important that whatever's come up for you during that session during that medicine journey during that realization that you actually allow yourself space and time to integrate it to basically anchor it into the body and start practicing from what you've learned because a lot of the time like we can take on knowledge but if we don't then live in integrity to what we've learned from that or we don't start implementing those realizations into our life if we've realized something about yourself that's a behavior that you don't want to do anymore you're realizing oh okay that's actually not supporting me it's integrating that into your life and practicing doing what is going to support you and then like learning to create new habits and new hobbies instead of doing the thing that wasn't supporting you because that is then integration and, and allowing yourself that time and that space if it means resting if it means sleeping because you might feel really tired you might feel really overwhelmed you might not want to go out as much because you will be more sensitive so just allowing yourself space time being with yourself like having some you time is really important and integrating your lessons that you've learned from all of this is really going to support you and just being still with yourself and just going out in nature like all of this integrating what you're learning is everything that i've just mentioned in this video as a whole like doing all these practices throughout the week that is integration you're allowing yourself space time and energy to support you to integrate this huge awakening that you've had anyway my loves i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that all of these practices are really supportive for you please leave down below any other practices that really help support you through your journey and let's get chatting in the comments because it's going to support other people that come across this video if you could give any love down below i really really appreciate it leave an emoji if you feel called to that don't forget that i've got a playlist on my channel it's all linked down below sending you so much love thank you so much again for watching this video have a beautiful day Mwah. bye